Okay, so all been negative pretty much recently. Uh, for anyone following the house fire, uh, we've heard nothing at all from Wilco or their loss adjusters for the past two weeks. The loss adjuster was supposed to be making a video call to look at the damage. Uh, they had originally promised to do that on the Tuesday afternoon or the Wednesday two weeks ago although they denied that in an email uh, later on and we haven't heard a single thing since so uh, yeah thanks Wilco top performance uh, we're now what four weeks after the fire and you've done absolutely nothing at all for us so thank you very much right and on to today's uh, video this is a Huawei uh, Matebook X Pro notebook it's a 2020 version uh, I thought we'd do a quick unboxing video uh, we have Space Gray machine uh, the processor is an i7 10510U it's got an MX250 graphics card uh, 1 terabyte SSD and 16 gig of memory 13.9 inch screen so yeah, pretty reasonable specs now I've been looking to get another laptop for the past year but uh, everything I've looked at so far that I thought would do the job uh, has just been a bit pricey. I always try and use the Amazon uh, pay monthly uh, option uh, wherever possible and more expensive things as a self-employed <laughs> guy it, it certainly helps uh, not to have to fork out stuff in one go and they don't charge interest so why not. Uh, sometimes I even pay it off early. Uh, this one, oh gosh, probably five, six months ago was on a uh, 12 monthly instalment option, uh, which is great. It brings it out about £112 a month. And then suddenly it was, they stopped doing that and they put it down to the usual five uh, monthly payments. But just recently, well, in fact, a couple of days ago, they put they brought back the 12 monthly instalment option. Uh, so I thought, nah, sod it, let's go for it. And I know a lot of people are not convinced by Huawei equipment and how safe it is and what they might be spying on and that sort of thing. But honestly, I haven't really got anything worth spying on. Uh, and I'm sure there's plenty of software out there that can scan your PC for any suspicious thing so I just thought said it. It had some pretty good reviews so we're gonna have a, a look. Also read that their packaging is getting very much like uh, Apple's now, very high quality packaging. Okay so yeah that is pretty much in the box. And uh, yeah, straight into Apple territory. <laughs> Very nicely boxed in shrink wrap. Obviously made in China. Uh, spec on the side again. All looks good. Now, let's see if we can just nick this open without damaging anything. Been using the same Asus laptop for quite a few years now. Um, this year the inbuilt Wi Fi has been playing up and uh, constantly disconnects, and the only way you can get it to reconnect is with a reboot. And uh, I've been using a dongle where that sticks out the side by quite a bit, and frankly, it's just a pain in the arse. You put the laptop, oh, that's light, relatively speaking, compared to my laptop. So again, very nicely wrapped up. We have NVIDIA Windows labels on the back with a serial number. Let's see what else we've got in here. Not expecting too much really other than a charger. Okay, so what have we got? We have the warranty card. We've got a quick start guide. I don't think we're going to be bothering going through the startup. I just wanted to show everybody 
Huawei Mate Dock 2. Uh, we are, I don't think this is included, is it? HDMI, VGA, USB C. I can't imagine that's included, but it'd be nice. Oh, it is! That's uh, that's nice. That's uh, included. So you've got HDMI connections, VGA, USB C. You've got another cable here. I guess that's the main USB C cable that you would use. So that is nice. And nothing else in that box. So this charge is small then. Mm, very small. Oh, I do dislike these bloody great big plugs that hang out with all that weight. There we go. So this is a HW2003 25BPO and what have we got? 100 to 240 input output is only 5 volts, uh, 2 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, 12 volts, 2 amps, 15 volts, 3 amps, 20 volts, uh, 3.25 amps, so that's interesting. Okay, and it's relatively heavy. I just don't like stuff hanging out of sockets, you know. Uh, well, we'll see how we get on with that. So, that is pretty much it as far as contents go. Warranty card is what? Not a lot, by the looks of it. What is covered by the warranty and how long is the warranty? Mm -hmm. Only 12 months and only six months in respect to the charger and 12 months in respect of the portfolio keyboard from the date of the original purchase of the product. Only six months warranty for the charger. Well, I think that probably breaks UK and EU <laughs> laws. I don't even know why they would say that. So this is just a very quick guide. Uh, yeah, the camera on this is down in the keyboard. I suspect it's probably going to be fairly useless. We've also got touch login, which is a nice feature. Uh, Windows Home only, unfortunately. I suspect I might upgrade this to Windows Pro just to get the BitLocker feature. I know there's other encryption tools. So let's have a closer look at this. Uh, to my eyes, and yes, I am slightly colourblind. That is a sort of gunmetal finish. I don't know what they called it. Let's have a look again. Space grey. That is a sort of gunmetal colour. Very nice. Feels like it's all metal. A couple of very hard plastic feet. There's no vents underneath that are going to blow hot air out onto your lap as it's sat there. Mm, strangely we've got a mark on it. don't know whether this is going to show or not. Where is it? Just up there by that small hole. See the dirt on there? I'm surprised to uh, get that. It is a dirty mark that's going to come off. Perhaps a little bit of glue from something. Don't expect to see that on a high-end product. All right, so what ports have we got? So two USB-C, looks like headphones on the side there. Nothing on the back and down the other side we've got a standard USB port. Let me just turn this camera down. So let's just open this up. If I can work out which way around it is. 
Okay, so we've got another sheet here and uh, do not tear the Huawei share icon on your laptop otherwise Huawei share one hop will not work properly. What the hell is that? Do not tear the Huawei share icon. Ah, there we have a, um, that's the Huawei share option. Uh, basically you can, uh, you with your phone, you can just move it near to the mouse pad and uh, it will link up with the laptop and you can mirror the screen from the phone on this and transfer files and everything. Uh, it seems quite useful. So that is the camera just there. You press that and it pops up. But to me, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know exactly where that's pointing, but I don't think it's at my face. It looks like it's more down at uh, your upper chest. But we'll uh, we'll see. Yeah, we've got a touch, a fingerprint a button. I think on that other side. I much prefer it when touchpads are in the middle like this very often they're off to one side which I do not like at all and much prefer it when they're central like this yeah keyboard sounds nice no issues there looks like we've got some speakers on either side you can see the very finest of holes there either side this is a touch screen, it is a 3K touch screen, so uh, um, hopeful that it's going to be uh, good quality. It shuts down very nicely, but again, tricky to open. You can just get your finger along the front here and just lift it up. Yeah, very nice. Pleased with the first look of that. Seems very well made. Metal case. Surprised about the dirt, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Well, let's hope that is as good as I'm hoping it will be. So I probably will do some sort of uh, report uh, after I've used it uh, for a few days. Connect the adapter and charge the battery before powering on the device for the first time. Okay, no problem. We'll go and uh, do that now. And uh, yeah, look, it's only a short video just to show this thing uh, opened. Uh, it's got to be so much better than my very old and tired Asus, uh, or Zeus, as people seem to say. I say Asus and always have done. Um, got to be better than that. Certainly lighter. Slippy though. I uh, normally tuck this down the side of the sofa and I pick it up because it's stood upright. Maybe it's time to look for some sort of uh, little table to put next to me so this just stays on there but it is extremely slippy uh, compared to the old one. And very very much thinner than my old laptop. Yeah so fingers crossed hopefully it's going to be great, but we'll let you know.